Well, first of all, let's, let's begin by taking a look at, at a, an overall strategy towards a racing season. We almost need to plan it on a timeline. We're going we're gonna to actually start with the race that, or the season or the part of the season that you want to be at your peak performance. We're going to come back in various stages. So basically the start will essentially be so many weeks, anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks before the actual race that you're getting ready to prepare. John Walker, um, uh, Olympic champion in 1976 uh, from New Zealand. We traveled a lot in, 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 uh, in our years uh, together. And I remember John always kind of saying, you know what, if you can't get in shape in 16 weeks, the chances are you're not going to be getting in shape. And there's a lot of um, food for thought in that statement. But essentially, John would actually start the season, um, start the whole preparation by looking at where do you want to race well, now let's come back and start. In my intro to uh, lactate threshold, in that video I talked about the adaptation stages and how important it is in the beginning, particularly for high school athletes, to take the month of you know, maybe June and July for at least six weeks putting some mileage in getting mileage in the bank, putting the miles in and, and, and racking them up and getting to the level where you want to get. Now you're in August. In the month of August, the concentration is mainly focused on tempo running and threshold training, where we're going to start working at approximately 90% of your maximum heart rate. Now today's purpose, the video in today, today's purpose in today's video is not to deal too much with this because I do really want to get on to the anaerobic phases. But very, very quickly, this is probably the most important part to any preparation for a season. I think a lot of people misunderstand that, you know what, the faster we do, the faster work that we do, the more anaerobic training that we're going to do at the end, towards the latter part of the season, that's going to make the difference. I disagree. I totally disagree. And after all the years of running, 15 years of professional running, four or five years um, in college and my high school years and having the influences that I've had, I found that probably the best seasons I've ever had is when I dedicated myself to doing this properly. This is the icing on the cake. This is the anaerobic work that we're going to talk about today. It's critical and it's essential to a successful performance in